Hello, Pisces Power People. I am so excited that you are here. Welcome back to Pisces Power Tarot, a channel created by a Pisces for Pisces of all placements, as well as cross watchers who care about Pisces. I'm so thankful that you're here. I hope that you'll like and subscribe and share the encouragement that you find here in the readings that we do. All right, I want to get started by saying these are the three decks that I mainly use. As my channel grows, I will branch out. I will um, incorporate other decks, but for right now, I just sense that this is what I need to do. Um, so I like to start off with the Empathic Oracle as an emotional, emotional uh, card. Um, it will signify, I should say, emotions that we might be dealing with. As Pisces people, we are very sensitive, um, and sometimes the gift of uh, em empathic understanding, empathic, empathic uh, perception can feel more like a curse than a superpower, okay? And it is a gift, my beautiful Pisces. It is a gift. And I want to help you through these readings be intentional about sifting through the energies that you're feeling and getting insight into your situation. Next, we will explore using the Heaven and Earth Tarot, and then we will likely close with the Moonology Tarot or the Moonology Oracle deck. Um, this is really good for speaking to timelines and stuck energy. And then, of course, the Tarot offers timeless wisdom. This is a timeless reading, by the way. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I do want you to know I offer uh, personalized readings and you can reach me at Pisces Power Readings at gmail.com. I love connecting with my viewers. I love doing the personalized readings because they just really are so rich and they just go so deep. You know what I mean? So feel free to um, reach out and let's connect, okay? Now, just so you're aware, this is a general reading. Uh, I usually do not take jumpers, so I don't shuffle maybe the same way that many other uh, readers do, and that's fine. I also don't read reversals. That is just a personal preference of mine, okay? Um, so just so you're aware, I want to take this time to welcome in the spirit team, the spirit guides, the angels, the archangels that are responsible for the Piscean Collective. I'm so thankful that you're here. I'm thankful that you, my beautiful Pisces and Cross Watchers, are here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and cut. Let's see what our first card here is. Gates. Gates. Interesting. I love the imagery of these little cards. So, all right, I'm going to lay that right there. Make sure you can see it. And go ahead and open up the tarot. And if I get any kind of downloads or, um, you know, any messages from spirit or angels, I will certainly relay that. But right now we're looking at gates. It looks like this is um, got some mountains in the distance and a little pebbled path leading to this gate. And maybe you feel like you're on the threshold or the precipice of something and um, you're wondering if you should, you know, go through the door. That's kind of what I'm picking up on the right there. Um, but yeah, we'll just see. We'll explore the wisdom of the tarot. What I'll do is a straight five card spread. And I will do it based upon the five physical senses that we have. Um, we are more than our five senses. Um, in the spirit, uh, we know that there's many more senses. And if you are an extrasensory person, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's, let's start in the area of touch. Spirit, what is my Pisces touching? What are they after? What's touching them? 
taste? What does the Piscean Collective have a taste for in this moment? Smell. What's in the air? What's in the air? What can my Pisces be smelling right now? Hearing. In the spirit, with their spiritual ears, with their metaphysical hearing, what do they need to hear? Seeing. Finally, third eye. Spirit, what do my Pisces need to see? What is it that they are seeing that they need to know more about? All right. Let's get started. Oh, oh lovely. Okay. So we have the night of cups. Okay. This is um, water energy. Got a little bit of a glare there. And um, cancer energy. Um, Piscean energy. Um, so you have the Knight of Cups. You know, it is really, really interesting, Pisces. I got to say something here. I am getting, I know that this is an Oracle card right here, but I'm getting marriage vibes from this card, like a four of wands, um, kind of an energy. I'm not sure why that is, but it is. Okay. So I'm going to go with that. And then right here, you have the knight in shining armor riding a white horse. Um, we understand that cups are the um, emotional um, energy of the tarot. And so I just feel like between this and this knight of cups, I feel like there might be someone bringing you an offer. Probably someone that you are already in a relationship with or connected with somehow. Um, but yeah, that's what I see right now. That's what I think is touching your life or about to. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a proposal and you're on the fence about whether you're going to say yes or no. All right, taste. What's in the taste of my Pisces mouth? What are they sensing with their taste? King of Swords. This is a powerful image right here. I adore this image. Uh, so this is air energy. Deals a lot with the mind. Um, okay. All right, all right. So I'm so here's what I'm sensing. There is a, oh, this is going to sound so strange. And please know that I do not attach gender to my cards. Um, but I feel like that there is one or more Pisces out there who have their eyes on a powerful man, or maybe the man in your life is this Knight of Cups, but he's maturing into the mental king that you need him to be, okay? Um, so there's definitely a progression here, I think, that we need to see, and that is uh, going from a knight to a king, and up here with this marriage energy, um, precipice gates card. All right, spirit, what can my Pisces smell? What's in the air for them? The high priestess. Hmm. Interesting. Check this out. The high priestess. Okay. I'm hearing spirits say that you have wisdom that you can trust. You've seen the signs and you know you have everything within you to proceed forward with confidence. To proceed forward confidently. Okay, because there is a maturity process. Ah, oh, okay, okay, check this out, check this out. So the high priestess, we understand that she is major arcana. She is wise, okay? She has secret knowledge. Um, and she is a very mature person, okay? Male or female, doesn't matter. Very mature, very wise, very esoteric. And maybe you are that person, Pisces. You are this esoteric person. And the king or the knight in your life, the one that you're getting ready to maybe spend your life with, is in this progression of maturing. 
to a place where he or she will be a better complement, a better counterpart for you. And maybe you have felt some hesitation about going to the gate with this person until you could see some maturity. But I'm here to tell you, Spirit is here to tell you, it's on its way. Okay, what's next in the area of hearing? What is my Pisces? What should my Pisces be hearing right now? Night, another night, another night of, okay, this is a night of pinnacles. I think it's been probably a slow journey. I think this is kind of a love reading. That's, that's kind of where I'm, I'm sensing this is going. Um, I feel like it's been a very slow but steady journey for you. Maybe you are, maybe you're in a, long distance relationship with someone who's overseas and you're in this process of trying to get them into your own country. Um, but spirit is just letting you know that, you know, there is a recognition here that your journey has been long and there's been a lot of transformations that have taken place that are taking place. Um, I sense that the, you and this counterpart are, in flux okay you're both you're both growing toward something something great something wonderful okay all right what is next what does my pisces pisces need to see spirit <laughs> ace of pentacles new beginning a very solid grounded new beginning i might add um and I just feel like it's coming directly from the hands of your knight, directly from the hand of your king, directly from the hand of this masculine energy that has come on the scene or been in your life. Um, I kind of almost feel like, see, look at this. You have knight of cups, king of swords. You, Pisces, are here in the middle. And on this side of you is... Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So it's almost like you're surrounded by money. You're surrounded by a man who is growing. You're surrounded by a man who is possibly a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay, to meet your energy um, as High Priestess. And this man is coming into his mental prowess to match you. He is coming into his power. He is coming in to bring stability in your life and to be a knight in shining armor to you in many ways, emotionally, financially, and support you, accommodate you. Oh, that just feels so good, doesn't it? Essentially, um, to bring you rest, Pisces, and to give you this new fresh start that you've been needing. This this is, yeah, this is a love reading. This is about your divine counterpart, Pisces. It feels really, really good. I feel like maybe you have had some misgivings about this person. Maybe you've seen this person kind of waffle in their energy and that's made you halting. That's made you hesitant about moving forward to the gates with them. Um, but nevertheless, Spirit is showing that there is this beautiful growth that is happening even now and will continue to happen up until and further on after you all are united in body. Um, so united physically, united in whatever town or country, you know, maybe it's not overseas. Maybe it's just a town away, you know, but whatever the case may be, this is a divine coming together, a divine union of a man who wants to grow, a masculine energy that wants to grow, that wants to support, that wants to be and will be a perfect complement for the depths of your own spirituality, the depths of your own um, emotional waters. Um, and I just sense that you're this person with this esoteric wisdom. And this person, um, I'm not saying that they're going to end up being in that same flow, but they're definitely in a place where they are growing and maturing 
and having a more similar energy. So you guys will really, you will compare, you will complement and you will contrast in all the right ways is what I'm trying to say here. Um, if that resonates with you, let me know. Honestly, if you would like a personalized reading on this, please reach out to me at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. I would love to shed some more light on this for you. Um, I feel like there's just something really epic going on here. All right, let's take a look at our Moonology Oracle to close out the reading. Get um, any kind of sense of direction or instruction from Spirit about this beautiful, beautiful spread. Wow. All right. I hope that um, you will subscribe to my channel. I hope that you will like this video and share. Maybe you want to share this with your significant other and say, hey, babe, check this out. You know, this reader is really on to us, and uh, I feel like she's, she's calling it like she sees it. We are growing together, and we are going to go together. All right, we'll cut. Let's see what we got. A time, yes, a time for healing. Balsamic moon. Pisces, this energy, this person, and I kind of felt that with this grounded, slow, but steady night of pentacles. Listen, Pisces, you've been through a lot. And that's exactly why you are deep, okay? You've been through a lot, you've seen a lot, and you have got one heck of a backstory, okay? Um, and maybe your knight, your king, is going to be filled in on the details of that soon. But what I'm seeing is energetically, when you two come together and you go through these gates, healing awaits for both of you because it's not just you Pisces that's been suffering. Um, he has his own stories and um, his own context, his own background and um, things that he needs to heal. And I think that when he comes in and you guys just really can be in the same home together, can be more grounded in your relationship together. I just feel like divine healing is going to take place. It's going to heal you romantically. It's going to heal you mentally, emotionally, um, physically. Um, I'm going to just say it like this, sexually. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe you have um, some trauma in your background concerning that. But what I'm sensing is, is that this knight has come to heal. He's come to bring stability. He's come to bring his watery, the depth of his emotions to you. He's come to protect you, this masculine energy. He's come to take care of his esoteric um, queen. So, whew. Wow, you two are going to go really, really good together. This is amazing. If this resonates with you, please hit like. Um, drop in the comments if you'd like. I really, really want to build a wonderful, meaningful, insightful community here with Pisces Power um, Tarot. And I, I hope that you'll get on board with me. Um, so, all right. I appreciate you being here. This is a timeless reading. I'm grateful that it has found you. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you Pisces. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out Pisces.